Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So friends, today we are going to learn how you can export uh, custom poses for control net pose using a very simple and free windows program. And we will see how you can use that program to create various poses and put them together for a multi-character scene using control net and using latent couple. So in my screen, you can see that I'm using this program or app called Vroid Studio, which helps me create these various poses. So this studio or this app is actually free to download and use. And uh, you can, as you can see, you can actually uh, customize the look of your character. Uh, you can give it different kinds of outfits because uh, if you look at this, um, you know, uh, tab, you see that you can give it various kinds of outfit and everything. But right now for the sake of this program, we are only interested in creating different poses. So in order to uh, create the poses, I have created a male, uh, you know, figure. And I have given this figure a very tight uh, looking clothes so that I can create or I can get a very clean looking open pose, uh, you know, um, poses. So once you've done that, uh, we can actually move it around and pose. In order to do that, you need to go to this or click on this camera icon. So now we are in the pose and expression section of this app. We're just going to pose it. So we're going to click here. And you'll see that there are several options. You can either create animation or create poses. So I'm going to click here and go to posing. So this is where I do all the posing. And as you can see, it is showing all these control points and you can move the control points around to move the body parts of this character. So if I want to move the hand, I'll just click here and move the hand and I can move the elbow like this, uh, move the shoulder like this or rotate the whole shoulder. I can move the hand like this. And also if I want to create a different kind of pose, maybe lift up this leg and uh, make it like that. So just creating a different pose. So um, I'm just going to pose something that I want to do. Just something casual. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done posing. So maybe that's what you're going to use. And you can actually rotate the arms if you need to. You can change the head, uh, you know, uh, position like here. And you can actually also change the arm position like this. So you can make lots of changes uh, the way you want to do it. You should do it. And then uh, I'm just going to make some more changes. And just, uh, okay. So let's say that you want to work with this pose. So now that you have locked onto this pose, just click here. And it will create a picture. So uh, just you call it pose. And it will be saved in your hard disk with that uh, name. So let's just look at the picture. So as you can see, this is the image. This is the image with the pose. So now we're going to take this pose and put it inside stable diffusion. So friends, we are inside our automatic lab 11 stable diffusion. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how to use this. Uh, you need to write in a tab like uh, anime girl in skirts. All right. And then go to control it. Enable this uh, one, select open pose, select the uh, open pose uh, model, and then drop this pose here. So we're pretty much done. So let's generate everything is set. So friends, as you can see, we have actually uh, generated this image, which is based on this pose over here, which is let me make it bigger for you. So this is the pose. And this is the generated image. So basically now I can use the same technique and put together multiple characters of various poses into one image and then run it through a uh, stable diffusion to create multiple characters in one scene. So how do I do that? Again, I go to my uh, Vroid studio and create some other poses. So perhaps I uh, change the pose. Okay. Um, and make a different pose and then create an image like that. So I've already done that. I have actually created three poses. I'll show you the poses. One is the basic stand-up poses. And then the other one is a 45 degree uh, pose. And of course, we're going to use this pose that I have used. So for that, we're going to go to Photoshop. And now let's open uh, these files and put them together in Photoshop. So let's take this and paste it here. So 
So one thing I would like to take care is I'd like to make sure that uh, for all of these three figures, the height and the feet are in the same position. So I'll just uh, take this here and make sure that everyone else is in the same height. So now we have our three uh, characters. Just make sure that uh, the background is also the same. And now let's export this. All right, so now we can go back to uh, stable diffusion once more. Okay, so again, guys, let's go here and let's change this and replace it with the image that we had just created. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And now because it's actually wide, uh, you know, uh, image with three characters, we're going to make our width uh, to be 900 uh, pixels so that we can accommodate all of these three characters. And over here as well, we want to make the canvas width 900 so that uh, the control net can detect and create poses for all of these three. So we can check it if we can uh, grab all these three poses by again clicking here. So as you can see, it has uh, uh, it was able to grab all of these three uh, uh, characters in all of these three poses. And so now we have to do one more thing. We have to actually create three regions or three zone where these three characters will reside. Um, but before we do that, let's actually try and create an image as it is to see what we get. So if we just say that three anime girls in scarf, uh, left one in red scarf, middle one in white scarf and right one in black start and we specify background garden background let's see what we get so as you can see we did get three different girls in three different poses but uh, stable division was not able to give me the right color of skirt in, in the right girl so i wanted the uh, center one in white skirt and the right one in black skirt but it did not uh, do that so one way to solve that problem is actually by using latent couple. Now I'll show you how to install latent couple. For that you have to go to your extensions and then uh, from available go to load from, click from here and then it will give you a list. Now from that list you need to look for this one. You need to look for stable diffusion where we were short. You have to look for this extension. This extension right now will not be here in my you know extension list because I've already installed it. But you'll find it here and then just click install and then after it's installed, you uh, click apply and restart UI and uh, you will have this um, uh, latent couple extension here. So I already have it. I'll just show you now how to use this latent couple. So you open latent couple and you enable it. So when you enable it at first, you actually have something like this. You'll have these parameters. One is to one, one by two, one by two and something like this. And if you visualize it, it will actually give two regions. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to create three region. So you have to divide the whole scene into three region. So how do you do that? Uh, so we do that by adding or making the whole region three part is by saying that this is a one third division. Now the first one, one is to one means that whole of the region and the second uh, two numbers state in how, how do you want to divide it for example we want to divide it into one third so i'll say one by three comma one by three comma and again we'll need another one by three so we will need three divisions each one of them are one third and the background being the whole of it and also we need to change the position remember the first one is the background so it starts from zero zero and then the second one is to the left so it starts from zero zero again the middle one starts from zero one and the third one should start from 0 colon 3. Sorry, 0 colon 2 because 0 colon after we have 1, two, we have 0, 1 and 2. And also we need to increase the weight. The background weight is 0 0.2. You can increase it if you want. But let's keep it to that. And the weight of the three other uh, columns are 0 0.8 each. So it's 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8. Now if you visualize this you'll get three perfect regions. So we have our three regions here and we have uh, the control net uh, giving us three different uh, poses in this three region. And now we have to add a prompt that will correlate with this region. 
So first of all, you need to write the background. So again, uh, just write garden background. And then after that, write and in capital anime girl in black start. And then again, anime girl in red start. And then again, for the last one, anime girl in white start. So we have three anime girls in three different starts in three different regions. Okay, so let's just generate this. So friends, uh, as you can see, now we have an image where basically all of these three girls are following the prompt that you have provided. It created uh, the left girl with the black skirt, the middle girl with the red skirt, and the right hand side girl with the white skirt. Of course, you cannot see the leg position perhaps because of the skirt. So let's do that again. Let's make it uh, black jeans, red pants, white tights. All right, and let's create three different dresses. In fact, let's change it to anime boy and let's see what happens. So now you can see with the help of control net and with the help of latent couple, stable diffusion is able to give me three perfect character images. First girl in black jeans and the second character is a boy in red pants. And finally, the third girl is in the white tight as we have asked stable diffusion to create for us. So using these two plugins, control net and uh, latent couple, you can create any kind of pose and any kind of character setup that you can use for your comic books or any other things that you want to create with stable diffusion. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you. And you can create great images using this technique. So I will see you again in the next video where I'll show you some other tips and tricks of using stable diffusion. If you like my channel and my contents, please hit the subscribe button. See you again in the next video. Till then, goodbye.